Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the first part of the Godel Chocolate uh, webinar series for the month of November. The next one will be on November 13 at 1 p.m. So don't make a mistake on the time. This time it will be with uh, Chef Buddy Trinidad. Only those who are present uh, during the first webinar will be allowed entry for the second one, okay? Because it's very important that you know what will be taught today so that you can do the application on the next uh, webinar that will be given to us. So again, I'd like to remind everyone present to please make sure that all your microphones are muted so that we do not disturb the speaker for this afternoon. And also to prepare uh, the baking chocolates or any chocolates that you have at home, um, because I think later on we'll be taught how to identify the ingredients that we use in our bakes. Okay. So uh, again, thank you for joining us. I will now introduce the speaker for this afternoon. Her full name is Ms. Rona Mariela Reynoso. She is a graduate of the University of the Philippines, Los Paños. Uh, she's a graduate of BS Food Technology. In 2011, uh, she joined Multi-Rich Foods Corporation and was in charge of new product development. Uh, one of the products de developed was the famous Choco Mucho. I think it's still available in the market. Um, and uh, since 2014, April 2014 to present, she joined the Research and Development Department of uh, Godel Chocolates or the JCG Marketing Group. Uh, so until now, she is still connected with, with JCG Group. No? Um, in May 2015, uh, she took a cookie cracker course in Thailand. That's nice. And um, But it was in uh, JCG Marketing Group uh, that she was able to hone her baking skills through hand-on work on breads, pastries, cakes, and cookies. As part of the company's R&D department, part of her work is helping clients develop or improve their products as they upgrade to Vesmax equipment, or it is also called the commissioning. Okay, um, in 2018, JCG Marketing Group already already had their interest no, in making chocolates. So it was there that uh, Miss Rona started learning about chocolate making, which is sometime around 2019. Um, in the same year, she has traveled to Italy, France, and Germany and visited major suppliers like Pack In, Gamey, Technochoc to learn more about chocolate making principles and machines that are used. And she had also trips to La Suiza Chocolate Factory, Choco Versum Chocolate Museum, and in December 2019, uh, to the cacao farming Rosit Farms in Davao. So, medyo famous kasi ang Davao with, uh, with chocolates. No? And uh, to the present, uh, she is now um, working hand-in-hand -hand with Goodell to further promote and, you know, um, at least magamit man lang our local teams uh, in terms of baking and cooking here in our country. So without further ado, I will give you our speaker for this afternoon, Ms. Rona Mariela Reynos. Take it away, Ms. Rona. Thank you po, Ma'am Chiki, for the introduction. And good afternoon, everyone. Um, I will be sharing now my presentation. So thank you, Paul, for joining us today for the first part of this webinar. I will be discussing a glimpse on how we make Godel chocolate and some background on other technical terms used in chocolate making. If you have any question, please type in an our chat box and we will address them on the latter part of the lecture. So um, okay po ba yung aking audio? Naririnig po ba ako ng clear? Yes, clear naman, Ms. Ron. Okay, I will proceed na po. So, cacao, an introduction. So, here's an overview on uh, what we are going to be discussing for today. So, chocolate making, a brief history of cacao, the fruit, ca the cacao of 
farming, bean to chocolate process, not all chocolates are made this way, types of eating chocolate or consumer chocolate, types of baking chocolate, types of chocolate in the market, identifying compound versus real, shelf life and storage of real chocolate, and the uh, last part will be, Mamari will be discussing this about Godel. There's a brief history of cacao. Chocolate is made from cacao seeds, which come from the fruit of the Teobroma cacao tree. So the Teobroma cacao is the scientific name po ng cacao tree. It is a native tree of the upper Amazon cloud forest in the foothills of the Andes. Um, it was discovered dated from the Mayan civilization about 4th century AD. And it is originally consumed as a bitter beverage. So, mas nauna po siyang um, kinonsum bilang uh, drink, hindi bilang yung kilala natin ngayon as chocolate bars. So, it is also used uh, by Aztecs as their currency and is more valuable than gold. So, as we all know, yung mga agricultural products po natin, um, ginagamit nila to sa barter. So, Si cacao, si cacao fruit ay ang katumbas niya gold po nung time na yon. So una pa lang, bilang fruit pa lang siya, mataas na po yung value niya. And then after this uh, mga uh, discoveries, it is there when um, nadala po ito sa Europe and America and then dinevelop into what we known po na chocolate bars today. Um, here's a glimpse on how we remove the beans from the cacao fruit. Para po may idea kayo kung ano po ba yung sinasabi ko na cacao fruit. So ito po yung itsura po ng ating cacao pot. And then we carefully po uh, kinakot po pa natin siya without touching po yung pulp and seeds po na nasa loob. So, yan na po. Yan po yung beans po natin na may pulp pa, yung color white. And ito po talaga yung pinagmumulan ng ating chocolate. Where this one is a smaller um, cacao fruit. So, meron po tayong mga varieties po na mas malalaki dito. And this is like a uh, backyard lang po. Kinuha lang po namin sa farm sa Kamiti. So, yan. Inatanggal po nila dun sa pinakapod. And then, yan. So, yung iba po makikita nyo makapal yung pulp. Yung iba naman, medyo ano na, hubad na. So, yan. So, nabanggit ko po kanina na yung cacao fruit po natin ay may mga iba-ibang varieties. So, ito po yung pinaka mga kilala. So, Criollo is from Central America. Forastero is from West Africa and South America. Trinitario, all cacao region. So, um, pag po sa chocolate making, yung pong pinaka famous is the Criollo because this is the heirloom. O kumbaga, ito dito nagmula talaga itong variety ng cacao fruit. But dito po sa Philippines, mas um, nagkaroon na po tayo ng iba't ibang variety. Depende po sa... Uh, region, depende rin po sa farm. So, yung pong mga um, medyo kilala po na variety dito sa atin is yung UF18 BR25. So, ito po ay pinapangalanan depende po sa farm at depende po dun po sa kung paano po nila pinalaki yung kanilang uh, cacao tree. And then, syempre po i-coordinate nila yan sa Department of Agriculture for the naming po ng variety na yon. So, yan. Next naman po natin is yung uh, process po ng pag-harvest at pag-ferment at pag-dry at pag-pack ng ating uh, cacao. So, yung cacao tree po natin grows around the world in the tropical belt. So, pasok po yung Pilipinas doon sa tropical belt na yon. Kaya po, um, napansin nyo po na medyo booming po yung ating industry, cacao industry sa Philippines. So, after growing po yung cacao fruit, which nag-grows po siya uh, 3 
to 5 years mula po nang tinanim mo siya. And then nakaka-harvest po tayo every 3 to 5 months sa isang taon. So mga dalawa hanggang tatlong harvest po sa isang taon. After po nito, nakuha na natin yung mga cacao pod or yung cacao fruit. Kukuha ni naman, bubuksan natin siya katulad po ng napakita sa video and then ife-ferment. During fermentation, it's a 5 to 7 day process. The first step is an anaerobic process. Ito po ay yung wala pong pumapasok na kahit anong air. So makikita nyo po dito sa um, picture natin na meron po tayong parang layers ng box. Doon po sa top layer, may nakatakip po sa kanya na banana leaves. So kasi po anaerobic process. Walang air na pumapasok sa kanya. Because in this process, yeast eats up all the sugar in the pulp. So, yung pulp po, yung color white kanina na nakabalot dun sa ating beans. And then, the next step po is the aerobic process. Yun na po yung may air na pumapasok. So, ibababa niya na po dun sa second layer, then hinahalo. Hinahalo po yung mga beans. It is where ethanol to heavy acidic acid production. So, dito na po na-ferment yung ating um, cacao beans. So, the process continues up to 5 to 7 days. Next process is the drying. It is where we remove 7, we remove the moisture sa ating uh, product or sa ating beans. So, ang ideal po na nakukuha dapat natin dito sa drying process is 7.5% moisture na lang po yung natitira sa beans para po mas maganda po nating maiprocess yung ating cacao beans. Next is packing. This is where naman po ini-store natin yung ating um, cacao beans para ma-protect po natin siya. And this is where we get our beans. So, kumukuha po tayo sa mga farm from Davao and South Cotabato and then yun po yung pinaprocess natin. That's why Godel po is a bean to bar processing. Yun po yung tawag kay Godel. Next naman po is yung ating bean to chocolate process. So here in Godel, we we, pro, we practice quality control by observing po yung ating mga beans na dumadating from the farm. What we do is we cut, yung makikita nyo po na cutter is kinakat po natin into half yung beans para po makita natin if well fermented yung mga dumadating sa atin na beans. Well fermented means the half of the beans is already color brown. Pag po medyo purple pa siya, ibig sabihin po hindi pa siya fully fermented. Then the next po is uh, we measure the moisture content. So di ba po nabanggit natin upon drying, dapat 7.5. So dito po pag dumating sa Godel factory, chinecheck din po natin yon. And then if hindi pa po pasok dun sa 7.5, we let it sit po sa ating storage. Then we let it dry a little bit more. Then next po is sorting. So we clean and sort our beans manually. So, may tao po na naka-assign dito para po i-check yung ating po mga good and reject. Reject means mga flat, kasi po pag flat, wala ka na po makukuhang laman. Pag moldy, yung pong medyo maputi na po yung labas, um, magkakaroon po tayo ng contamination for that. Meron din naman pong cases na may mga butas or half na yung ating beans. So, not good na rin po siya kasi maybe may mga insects na po na pumasok doon. So, cause of contamination na rin siya. Next is yung ating roasting. This is where we develop and kill bacteria. Next is the cracking to break up the beans. Winnowing is to separate all the important inner part o yung pong tinatawag natin na nibs and the, and the process of removing the skins from the cacao beans after roasting and cracking. Usually po, the machine relies on gravity and the heavier weight of the nibs. Next is the pre-refining. So, from the particle po na malaking size ng nibs, pinipre-refine po natin siya into parang peanut paste. Parang ganun po yung pinoproduce natin. This is 
um, where we produce the cocoa mass or yung tinatawag din po nating cocoa liquor. Next is the refining and conching. Refining is we mill the chocolate the cacao nibs into smaller particles. Below 20 microns, ito po yung um, particle size in which we can't feel them sa ating mga tongue. Dito rin po nag add ng sugar, milk powder, or other ingredients sa process na ito. Next po is yung conching. This is where we develop and control the flavor and remove po yung mga acidic po na notes. And then next is the tempering and molding. This is to create a solid and stable chocolate. And then next is yung ating cooling and packing. So this is where we uh, protect our chocolate bars po. Here's a short video po ng mga diniscuss ko kanina, yung Godel uh, process. So pakita ko lang po sa inyo ng video para po medyo mas ma-imagine nyo po yung sinasabi ko kanina. So this is the roaster. This is the cracking. na not all chocolates or yung tinatawag natin na chocolates are made this way. So, ulitin ko lang po, si Goodell po is uh, bean, uh, bean to chocolate uh, making. So, yun po, malalaman nyo why we are saying not all chocolates, yung term po na chocolate are made this way. So, types of eating chocolate or consumer chocolate. So, Ito po yung mas kilala natin na mga versions o mas layman's term natin na kilala sa mga supermarkets or sa mga uh, tindahan natin. So, dark chocolate, also known as bittersweet. This is po yung uh, cocoa liquor or yung cocoa mass. Ito po usually yung matataas yung percentage. Tapos konti lang po yung dinadagdag natin na uh, asukal. And then next is the milk chocolate. This one with cocoa mass with sugar, plus, yun nga, meron siyang milk. And then, white chocolate. So, si white chocolate nga ba ay chocolate? So, yes po. Kasi meron pa rin siya nung tinatawag po natin na cocoa butter, which is a part po dun sa, uh, ng cocoa mass. Kumbaga, ingredient siya na nakukuha from the cocoa mass. I'll explain this po uh, deeply later. And then, types of baking chocolate. So, dito naman po, nagkaroon lang po tayo ng mga terminologies. Kasi po, di ba po sa baking, meron po tayong hinahanap na mga notes. So, this is more on the description. Uh, unsweetened, so, technically, wala siyang sugar. Then, the semi-sweet, may konting sugar. Kasi po, di ba po sa baking, kinokontrol, we, uh, as bakers, we wanted to control po yung lasa ng ating ginagawang baked products, that's why we are looking for chocolates na ganito po yung mga quality. And also some brands po may nakalagay din po sa kanila na dark and milk chocolate. Kasi di ba po meron tayong mga bakery products na ayaw din naman nat ayaw natin na may milk kasi we wanted to control yung amount ng milk na nilalagay. So, kaya po nagkaroon po ng ganitong mga uh, separation of description po or types ng baking chocolate. 
and also the white. So for the types of chocolate in the market, so meron po tayong tinatawag na real, which is yun po yung mga na-discuss ko kanina sa Godel. And we, some of us are also familiar with the compound. And then for the real, meron tayong tinatawag na cocoa mass and the CBCP. And from the cocoa mass, meron naman tayong uh, tea to bar and bean to bar. So sa... Una nating i-discuss yung uh, compound chocolate. So for the compound chocolate, based on European standards, not allowed to label the product as chocolate. Kasi di ba po, tinatawag natin siya as compound chocolate dito sa Philippines. But technically, kung European standards po yung susundin natin, we cannot call this as chocolate. Because based on European standards, above 5% vegetable fat na ginamit po natin sa ating recipe will not be called chocolate. So, yung pong chocolate na term is pang real chocolate lang po siya. Hindi siya pwedeng gamitin sa compound. Pero dito naman po sa Philippines, wala pong regulation. As of today po, wala pa. So, okay lang. Tawagin natin silang lahat ng chocolate. <laughs> Then next po, yung characteristic nito. So, bakit ba most of uh, bakers pinipili talaga to? Kasi, not easy not to melt the, sa ating weather. Kasi, important to sa ating weather kasi, di ba po, napakainit dito. So, easy lang siya to handle kasi hindi siya mabilis, matunaw. And then next is, sweet siya and medyo greasy siya sa mouthfeel. And the key ingredients here are vegetable fat. Please take note of the vegetable fat. Because vegetable fat, kaya siya tinawag na compound, is just um, a compound fat po na ginawa na katulad ng cocoa butter, which is the cocoa butter is the inherent fat na nandoon po sa ating uh, cocoa mass. Kung baga part siya ng ating... Um, beets, kasama siya doon. So, yun, vegetable fat, sugar, and cocoa powder. Then, next is the real chocolate. Cocoa mass, CBCP, and Cheeto Bar, Binto Bar. So, bakit po natin siya tinawag na real? Para lang po ma-identify natin na ito po talaga yung totoong chocolate, technically speaking. Kung baga ganyan. Then, si real po kasi, di ba po nakita niyo po dun sa process kanina, si nibs po na galing sa loob ng cacao beans, pinre-refine lang natin siya, pinapino natin siya, naginap po siyang cocoa mass. Wala po tayo nilagay na kahit ano. So, yun po yung cocoa mass. Then, ito naman po si CBCP, si cocoa butter and cocoa powder. Some manufacturers are using this type of processing. So, combination po siya ng cocoa butter and seed and cocoa powder. Then, si cocoa mas po natin na mga manufacturers, we are calling them tree to bar or bean to bar. Si Godel po nasa bean to bar kasi we buy beans from the farm. Ito naman po mga tree to bar manufacturers, sila po ay merong farm na inaalagaan nila at sila po yung Uh, from that farm, they are manufacturing po the beans. So, that's why yung tawag po sa kanila ay tree to bar and si Godel is bean to bar. So, ito po yung tinutukoy ko for the real chocolate. Di ba po may cacao nibs tayo kanina na nakita nyo po? Yung cacao nibs, yung laman po ng ating cacao beans. Then, pag nirefine natin siya, meron po tayong cocoa mass. And then, if we further process this, meron po tayong tinatawag na cacao press. Si cacao press, sinaseparate po si cocoa butter, which is the fat content of the cocoa mass. And the cocoa powder is the solid content of the cocoa mass. 
Apo, which is yun po yung familiar tayo sa baking industry since yun po yung mostly na ginagamit natin. And then kung makikita niyo po kanina dun sa process, meron po tayong tempering na medyo po bago siguro sa inyo, yung tempering po na uh, process. Bakit ba natin tinetemper si chocolate? Because of this cocoa butter. This cocoa butter um, melts at 32 degrees. That's, and that's the reason why we temper it so that we can create a snap and a shiny chocolate. So, si cocoa butter po, yung, um, kumbaga, inaalagaan natin para po makakuha tayo ng uh, snap and shiny chocolate. So, pag po compound, ito po yung tinatanggal, si cocoa butter. Pinapalitan po natin siya ng vegetable fat kasi si vegetable fat po, hindi na kailangang i-temper. So, for the real chocolate, so si Godel, we have 70%, 50%, and 50% milk chocolate. So, bakit ba may mga nakalagay na percentage? And does 100% chocolate exist? So, Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nila? So, percentage refers to the percentage of the cocoa solids within a chocolate recipe. Which is a cocoa solids includes cocoa mass and cocoa butter. So, ibig sabihin po, pag nag-compute po tayo, 70% is technically 70% cocoa mass plus 30% sugar. Then, 50% is 50% cocoa mass and 50% sugar. Or minsan po may makikita kayo dun sa label, may nakalagay na mga emulsifiers and flavors, so pwede rin po nila yung ilagay dun sa iba pang aside from the 50%. Then next po is the 50% milk, so technically 50% cocoa mass, and the other 50% is the milk, sugar, emulsifiers, and uh, flavorings. And then for the question, does, does 100% chocolate exist? Technically po, hindi siya matatawag na 100% chocolate. Kasi po, ang chocolate sa European standards again is 99% chocolate, 99% cacao mass plus 1% sugar. Yun po ang definition ng European standards ng chocolate. Yung pong term na chocolate. Pero siyang 1% na sweetener. That's why, yun pong ating uh, recently released na product is tinawag po natin siya na uh, 100% na tablea bar. Kasi di ba po yung tablea bar is, tablea term is uh, well known po dito sa Philippines since yung ating mga ancestors is ito yung itinawag sa mga, sa tsokolate ng Pilipinas. So, inadopt na lang po namin siya and then yun, since Tablea naman is uh, more on 100% talaga. Uh, next po is yung CBCP or tinatawag natin na cocoa butter, cocoa powder or yung cocoa mass. So some manufacturers are, are choosing this um, ratios or recipe because of a more consistent taste per batch per per production. Bakit consistent siya compared ng using ka lang ng pure na cocoa mass? Kasi po, di ba, si cocoa powder, meron po tayong tinatawag na natural, kung naririnig nyo na po siya sa mga ingredient po natin, is natural cocoa powder and alkalized. So, this is where they control the pH of the cocoa powder. So, nagiging consistent po yung lasa nyo per batch, per production. Unlike sa cocoa mass lang, you have no control po unless you conch po a little longer para po ma-reduce yung mga acidity. Pero there's nothing po more you can do about it because pag uh, bean to bar or tree to bar chocolate maker ka, um, gusto mo na maipatikim sa customer mo kung ano talaga yung totoong lasa ng beans na nakukuha na natin per region dito sa Philippines. The next is, this is easier to handle because you are buying po 
not an agricultural product na. You are buying ingredient na, naka-powder na, naka-box na. So you don't have to do the process of sorting, roasting. So wala ka na i-control doon. So mas madali na pagdating sa manufacturing. And key ingredients here are cocoa mass, cocoa butter, and cocoa powder. So, the real chocolate, three or bean to bar. So, characteristic nito is yung tasting notes. So, mostly dito sa Philippines, we have fruity notes. So, na pagtikim po natin para siyang, para siyang mga prutas. So, maybe may mga lasang mangga, lasang... May, kung baga may maiisip ka na mga fruits na um, kasing lasa ng ating mga chocolate. Because this is an agricultural product, kaya po iba-iba siya. So, fruity, minsan parang lasa lupa, so earthy, <laughs> earthy notes, nakatikim na po kami ng ganyan. And minsan po, nutty. So, yun po. So, minsan, er, yan, may raisin, lasang berries. So, may kanya-kanya pong, um, sa pag a po namin, may kanya-kanya po kaming nakitikman na lasa kada region, kada harvest ng beans. Even if it is coming from the same farm, kada harvest po niya, iba po talaga yung lasa. So, yon, Not consistent talaga sa flavor. And needs to be tempered because of the cocoa butter po. Yun nabanggit ko kanina. And this is why we wanted to go po sa bean to bar processing because of these characteristics, because we wanted to show kung ano po yung lasa ng um, Philippine beans. Kasi di pa po, most of the competitions abroad na nanalo si yan, yung mga Madagascar, Tanzania, sila po yung mga kakilala dyan eh. So why not we showcase our, yung kung ano yung lasa ng cacao beans. That's why we are protecting po yung lasa na yon. Kasi, if we roast a little bit higher or we roast a little bit lower dun po sa lasa, mawawala po yung totoong lasa nung beans na yon. Kasi po, when you, when you harvest po from the farm, then dumating po dito sa amin, pagtikim mo po kasi sa kanya, meron ka nang makukuha. So, we don't want to lose it po. We just debacterized po yung uh, mga beans natin. And we stay true dun sa lasa niya. So, what affects taste sa real chocolate? So, yun nga po. Since agricultural product siya, number one, environment. And then, the fermentation and drying ng farmer. So, we don't control, we just suggest. Bilang chocolate maker po. We just suggest sa, fa sa farmer na kinukuha na natin kung ano po yung mga nalalasahan po natin na tasting notes sa beans niya. And then, they control the fermentation and the drying. But the roasting, si chocolate maker na po. This is where we um, add po yung atin pong knowledge on the roasting profiles po ng ating mga beans. So, sinabi ko po kanina, kada harvest, kada season ay iba. So, yun po, nag iba, -iba rin po tayo dito po sa factory ng ating uh, roasting profile. Parang coffee po. So, we have the light roast, medium roast, and the dark roast. And then, some chocolate makers are adding flavors like uh, vanilla. So, ito po yung mga kinocontrol ni chocolate makers. And, since this is an agricultural product, so, yun nga po, iba-iba talaga siya. <laughs> so, bilang chocolate maker, uh, challenging po na itong uh, 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 opportunities na sinasabi. Kasi nakaki nakikilala namin yung iba-ibang uh, beans ng Philippines. Even if we're um, sourcing, we are trying to source po yung, like in Dava, we are trying to source at four farmers. Iba-iba po talaga sila ng profile. So, every batch po na dumadating po sa amin, nagte-taste, nagro-roast po kami ng maliit na batch, then tinetaste po namin siya if paano po kami mag adjust for bigger production. So, yun po. 
So how can we identify yung compound versus real chocolate? So we have to check your ingredients. And the sequence of ingredients is important. So meron po ba tayong mga dalang uh, sa mga assignment po natin? Assignment talaga eh, no? Teacher? Yes. Rona? Okay, yes. So, sige po, mag-call po ako ng names sa participants. Okay lang po ba? Okay. Uh, or may gusto po mag-volunteer para po sabihin yung mga dala po niyang chocolate then share kung ano yung mga nandun sa likod. Sa label po, sa ingredient part. Anyone po from the group? Uh, I can, Miss Rona. Ay, sige po, ma'am. Proceed po. Please read po the ingredient part. So, what I have is the Baker's Premium Unsweetened Baking Bar. It says it's 100% cacao. Ang ingredient lang niya, it says chocolate may contain milk. I have the same as yours, Kiki. Sorry. Ay, so, wow. Parang ngayon ko lang nakita yun. Ha? Pero that's, ano, intriguing. Ano po? Yes. So, hindi mo malaman kung compound siya or real. So, kasi po, some, yes. of the, some of the manufacturers, like, what I'm holding now is, marami siyang ingredients na kalagay. Sugar, vegetable fat, skimmed milk powder, whey powder, cocoa powder, emulsifiers, Soya lecithin, polyglycerol, polyrhinocinolate, and nature identical flavor. But yours, nakalagay lang chocolate. Yes, just and chocolate. And may contain milk. So what do you think, yeah, ma'am? Is this a compound or a real chocolate? I think it's a real chocolate. Uh, you think, ma'am, it's a real chocolate? Yes. Yes. But checking your ingredient po is very important. So... Since the manufacturer chooses to declare lang po na this is a chocolate, so uh, technically po, uh, most likely chocolate siya. We're, okay. we're talking about the real thing. Yeah, maybe because nga it's 100%. Because you were saying it's 99% and 1% sugar. Yes So, di ba? So, because it's unsweetened, kaya chocolate siya. Yes. So, pero nga po, dito kasi sa Philippines, um, FDA is requiring every manufacturer to declare all their ingredients. Even if it's uh, 0.00001%, you should declare okay. it. So, yun po, that is very important for you to check if this is a real or a compound chocolate. So, so meron po ba tayo? participant na meron pong may dala na maraming nakasulat na ingredient? Yung marami pong nakalagay, katulad po nung dala ko ngayon. Ayun po. So, if if, mer if medyo nahihiya po sila mag-volunteer, so yung sa akin na lang po. I have another one. <laughs> ah, sige ma'am. Uh, ma the other one, this is Hulan, para, para makita, makita. This is a famous uh, unsweetened or no sugar chocolate. I don't know if people can see it. Um, so it's called Lily's Semi Sweet Baking Chips. Ang ingredients niya, the first one is unsweetened chocolate, and then inulin, erythritol, milk fat. Uh, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, stevia extract, and vanilla extract. Okay. So that's a real chocolate po, ma'am. Okay. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Ayun po. So if, yun nga po, the less po nang nakasulat sa kanya ingredients, especially if wala siyang nahalagay na vegetable fat, technically it's a real chocolate. And if it is maraming maraming nakasulat at parang may mga kakaibang mga pangalan na hindi mo maintindihan. So that's a compound one. And ito po, 
So sa sequencing naman po, so yun nabanggit ko kanina, is meron tayong sugar, vegetable fat, skim milk powder, whey powder, cocoa powder, emulsifiers, and flavors. So medyo madami po siyang nakasulat. So how can we identify if if ano ba yung mga nakalagay dito? It's You have to check the ingredients. And the ingredients is written on a descending order. Meaning yung pinakaunang nakalagay, yun po yung pinakamarami na nandun sa recipe. Okay. So, for example po, I have here the 70% Godel bar. So, the ingredients are listed cocoa mass, sugar, and cocoa butter. So, maniniwala ba ako na 70% siya? Yes, kasi nauuna sa ingredient list niya yung cocoa mass. Ibig sabihin, yun yung pinakamarami niya na ingredient. As for compound chocolate, sugar po yung nauuna sa kanya. So, technically, you are buying sugar, not, not chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> so, yun po siya. So, sa baking po, if you want to... Sa baking po, if you want to... Uh, experiment more on your uh, baking products and you want to control po yung mga ingredients na nilalagay, you can also check uh, the label or ingredients of your of what you are using na chocolate para po mas alam nyo po kung saan kayo nag adjust Like for Mom Chiki sa keto, uh, so she is concerned po dun sa calories, sa mga carbs. Um, so yun po. So she has to check yung mga ingredient na nandoon sa um, ginagamit niya na ingredient para sa baking ano niya baking so meron pa pong gusto mag volunteer just to check po yung kung yung ginagamit yung kinakain nila or ginagamit nila sa baking is a compound or real yun pong mga undecided pa Anyone guys who brought their chocolates, please step forward. Sayang naman. So mukhang nahihiya sila, ma'am. <laughs> uh, mayroon po akong ilang samples po. So nabanggit ko na po ito kanina yung uh, pag-compound po. Actually, it's not allowed to label the product as chocolate. Yeah. So, ito po yung, ganito po yung format ng mga compound chocolate na na ingredient. So, most of them, nauuna po yung sugar. Kasi, mostly sugar po talaga yung binibili at kinakain natin pag compound. And then, next is the uh, hydrogenated fat. Which is, ito po yung ginagamit ng mga big manufacturers kasi easy to handle and not easy to melt. And then, yung pinaka na kikita nyo po sa mga dulo, artificial flavors. So, pag po kasi sa real chocolate, pag gumamit po kayo ng artificial flavors, namamask nga na po yung totoong lasa ng cacao mas mo. So, hindi mo na napapakita yung um, totoong lasa na nawawala na siya. Okay. Miss Rona, I think si Miss Dayan wants to share the ingredients I of sure her Miss Dayan. to be Go chocolate. Dayan, no need for the camera. Just you know, turn on your microphone so you can you can dictate the ingredients. Okay, sorry, because I have music playing for my son. Kaya baka, baka. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Right. So it says here that the ingredients. The first one is sugar, and then cocoa butter. And then non-fat dry milk, and then whole milk powder, and then unsweetened chocolate, and then soy lecithin, um, citric acid, natural vanilla flavor, and then I don't know what this is, but nakalagay cocoa horizons foundation, cocoa ingredients. Ayan. Ano siya? This is the Calibout Ruby. Ruby chocolate. Yeah, it's a famous brand, the Calibout Ruby chocolate. Yes po. Since 
second to its uh, declared ingredients is cocoa butter. Me it mm -hmm. means that most of it are uh, ano po, yun nga, cocoa butter is sa part po ng ating cocoa chocolate po ma'am. So real chocolate naman po siya. Yes, Marami po. lang sugar. Kasi una yung sugar eh. Yes po. So that's okay po Correct. as long as they are using po cocoa butter as fat. Okay, got it. And if they yes, are Thank using, you so much. Yes po. Thank you din po. And if they are using po okay. vegetable fat with uh, cocoa butter, it's okay po then, but dapat nandun po siya sa dulong part kasi ang allowed lang po natin is 5%. So dapat... Um, Ma'am, si wala, wala namang... Ano, wala namang vegetable fat na nakalagay. Ah, okay. ah, ah. So sure ka dyan, Ma'am, real chocolate naman po siya. Okay, okay. okay. So, thank you, Ma'am. Si Thanks, Diane. No problem. Uh, Next up is Jazz. She wants to I'm share her chocolates naman. Okay. Um, hindi ko muna di-disclose yung, ano, yung brand niya. Siguro after na lang. Pero looking at the ingredients, um, well, first, nakalagay sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, honey, milk fat, emulsifier, soy lecithin, egg whites, Vanilla, milk chocolate contains cocoa solids 28% minimum, milk solids 14% minimum, contains milk, almond, soy, and eggs. So, actually, ano siya, hindi siya baking chocolate. It's, a, it's something you eat for a, for a snack. But looking at the ingredients kasi, um, ano kaya? So... Sa ano ma'am, since nabanggit mo may cocoa butter siya. Yes, and cocoa mass. And cocoa mass. So, pasok po siya dun sa CBCP slash cocoa mass natin kanina. So, that's a real chocolate. Oh, okay. Sige. Uh, pero uh, under siya sa milk chocolate category because nabanggit niyo po meron siyang non-fat dairy milk, meron po siyang uh, whole milk powder. So, yun po. So, milk chocolate siya ma'am. Okay. So, sige. Ito yung mag mag chocolate reveal tayo. <laughs> Sige ma'am. Um, can you see? Hindi siya makita. Uh, anyway, if if it can't be seen on video, it's uh Toblerone. It's actually Toblerone. It's just Toblerone. Yes po. Some of the big manufacturers naman po, they are choosing po to um, uh, po, using po yung CBCP na process ng chocolate making kasi it's easier to control for them instead mm -hmm. of uh, using purely cocoa mass. Mm, okay. Nice to know. Uh, Thanks, Ms. Rona. Thank you po. Thanks, Jazz. Okay. So, yun na po nabigay na ni Ms. Jazz yung example natin. So, uh, same lang po nung sinabi ko kanina, ito po may cocoa butter. Tapos nakita nyo po meron din siyang vegetable fat. That's okay as long as 5% or maliit lang po yung percent, not more than 5% sa recipe. So dapat po nandun siya sa medyo dulong part ng ingredient declaration. And yan. So this is, these are also famous or kilala po natin na mga chocolate manufacturers na kinakain din talaga natin on uh, occasionally or most of us, araw-araw. <laughs> Mga chocolate lovers. So, yan po. So, just be mindful po dun sa uh, ingredient na nakalagay sa ating mga even if it's not chocolate, be mindful of the ingredient declaration. Most of uh, the regulations in, even in other countries are on a descending order. Lahat po ay nasa pinakaunang nakasulat ay pinakamaraming uh, percentage sa recipe. So let's proceed po with the examples of the tree to, or bean to bar. So this is mostly Godel. Um, we are using cocoa mash, sugar, cocoa butter. And for the milk chocolate, we are just adding the milk powder and uh, some lecithin. For the Godel creations, we just add 
some of like uh, nuts, uh, nibs, and uh, mga fillings. So naglalagay din po tayo dyan. And other examples po is ito nga, yun, yung sinasabi ko kanina is white chocolate chocolate. So chocolate pa rin siya kasi meron siyang cocoa butter which is ingredient or part of the cocoa mass natin. So chocolate pa rin po po siya, huwag kayong mag-alala. Except if it is using vegetable fat as, as the fat sa kanyang ingredient. So, for the shelf life and storage of real chocolate, this is the state of the product in which it is still safe to consume. So, for real chocolate, sa Godel po, we declare it as up to 18 months, 70% and 50% chocolate. For the milk chocolate, hanggang one year lang po siya because of the milk. So, ayo po natin na i-extend pa. Some, some are extending up, up to 18 months, pero si Godel po, up to one year. Since we are mainit sa country po natin, so yung milk po natin, medyo mabilis po siya mag-react. And then, bars with nuts or other toppings or inclusions, 3 to 6 months. And yung mga bonbons filled, uh, 2 weeks. Kasi po, di ba po yung po mga feelings po na ginagamit natin like dulce de leche, coco jam. So these are, uh, some of our is water-based and uh, mataas po yung moisture content. So ang nangyayari po sa kanya, di ba po matigas si chocolate, then malambot yung palaman. So kinukuha po ni chocolate yung moisture, so malambot siya, and then si feeling naman po na malambot dahil nawala na yung moisture sa kanya, titigas naman siya. So, technically, it is still safe to consume, but yung pong texture niya, hindi na acceptable. That's why we declare it at two weeks lang po. So, what affects po yung ating, especially here in the Philippines, so, we should store our chocolate in a cool, dry place. Ideal storage temperature is between 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. We must keep away our chocolates from sunlight. Chocolate should be stored away from direct heat or sunlight. Cocoa butter, which is the main fat component of cocoa mass, melts at 32 degrees Celsius. Keeping away from strong odors. Cocoa butter easily absorbs strong odors like coffee and ginger, and this can affect the taste of chocolate. Refrigeration isn't ideal, but if you have to, since di ba po, dito sa Philippines, uh, sanay po tayo na nilalagay yung pong mga chocolates natin sa ref just to prevent it from melting. Even if it's some of it are compound, nilalagay pa rin po talaga natin. So, However, if we wishes to put that, we must we must store it in an in its original packaging and place it in an airtight container before putting in the refrigerator. Bakit po? Kasi marami pong nakalagay sa ref natin na iba't ibang amoy and, and even my meat, my mga nuts, may mga uh, kung ano ano pa na nandon. So Chocolate po is uh, napakagaling po niyang umabsorb ng odors po from other ingredients. So, kaya po, kung gusto po natin na mat matikman o malasahan pa yung uh, freshness ng chocolate natin, we should store it ng tama po. Consistent storage temperature. So, temperature fluctuations affects the quality of chocolate. It is best to keep them in an area or room with stable temperature. During transportation, avoid placing chocolate directly on car seats. Place them in a cooler container or box. If so, ito po, um, medyo iba lang yung term is uh, yung po tinatawag po natin na fat bloom or sugar bloom. So may pakita lang po si Ma'am Marie. Kita ba sa yan? 
So, kung makita nyo po, may parang mga puti-puti or medyo reddish na specks po dun sa ating chocolate. This is a baking chocolate. So, yan po yung tinatawag po natin na uh, fat bloom. So, fat blooms are usually caused by temperature changes. So, di ba po, binili natin siya sa supermarket na malamig. Tapos, tinransport natin siya sa car. Then, papunta sa bahay, hindi, nilagay pa lang natin siya sa, sa table. Hindi pa natin siya agad na mas stable. So, ito po yung nagiging cause niya, yung sugar bloom and or fat bloom. But, yun nga po, it is still safe to consume. Kasi di ba po, uh, kinoconsumo pa rin naman natin yung mga chocolate natin kahit may mga bloom na. But if it is a real chocolate, you must retemper it para po magamit mo siya. If, if, if you will to consume that product. Pero if you will to combine it with a baking ingredient, okay lang naman po na hindi i-retemper, you just melt it. Ayan. So, sinabi ko po kanina, despite yung appearance niya na may mga bloom, hindi siya sign ng spoilage. So, still safe to consume naman siya. So, yeah, that's it po for the lecture. Mag-Q&A na tayo, ma'am. Uh, Mag-Q&A na or after? Isang mabibig. Isang, yun. Thank Sini, you, Miss uh, Rona. Yes po. Um, yes. For the discussion po of the Godel brand, uh, I will turn you over po to Ma'am Marigo, our marketing manager. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss Marie. Good afternoon. I hope you learned a lot. Medyo, ano siya eh, crash course on cacao. Uh, pero uh, before I talk about Godel, no, um, we talked a lot about compound uh, earlier, uh, pero there's nothing wrong with compound naman. It's not something against compound kasi um, may benefits din siya on why we use compound. Again, it doesn't melt easily and all that. So, hindi naman sa um, masama siya or anything. It's just what just so everyone knows what they put inside their um, products. If compound or real, personal preference na lang. Kasi, syempre, mapapadali yung life nyo if compound ginamit nyo kasi nga, mas mabilis siyang i-handle. Real naman, you know the what's inside, nagaling talaga siya sa cacao. Um, but, mahirap siya i-handle. Lahat ng um, storage uh, tips namin is really for real chocolate. It's not always applicable to compound kasi nga mas mahirap, mas masel and si real chocolate. So, I'm just going to briefly discuss um, about our brand uh, before we proceed with the Q&A. Para lang um, you have an idea uh, on what we keep on saying bean to bar. So, we're a Philippine-based cacao chocolate solutions provider and we're a bean to chocolate uh, maker. So, we have two main categories. We have solutions and products. By solutions, we mean we sell uh, the tools and equipment of chocolate makers. Chocolate makers, kami yung mga gumagawa from bean to bar. Um, actually, yung uh, other categories, meron ding machines for that. Uh, but of course, um, uh, mainly yung market here, uh, we want to encourage bean to bar uh, chocolate processing. And then of course, the products that we are familiar with. So we have chocolate bars, uh, we have tablea, cacao tea, nibs. Uh, so all of our products are made from locally sourced fermented cacao beans. Kasi meron ding unfermented cacao beans. And as you saw dun sa cacao farming, um, yun yung binibili namin, yung fermented. Uh, so currently, we source from Davao and South Cotabato, uh, which are organic. If anyone's familiar with it, yung Cablon Farms in South Cotabato, dun kami kumukuha ng um, cacao beans namin. And then we manufacture it here in our um, factory in Paranaque. Uh, and then we adhere to the fundamentals of chocolate making. So yung steps na pinakita earlier, uh, we stick to that. And then, as much as possible, we don't add any flavorings kasi nga, we want to preserve the original flavor of the cacao beans. So, tignan nyo rin yung mga bean to bar or tree to bar, yung ingredients nila. If they add something else, ganun. As much as possible, we don't want to do, to add um, mga vanilla and all that um, para true to the taste. And ang catch lang nun, again, hindi siya consistent kasi nga, depende sa farm yung magiging flavor ng cacao. Um, 
And there, that's what I mean by simple formulation and intense chocolate taste. So we have our classic bars. We have Vinto Bar Chocolates, Tablea, Cacao Tea, and Cacao Nibs. The Cacao Tea is made from the husks uh, ng cacao beans. Diba? Um, during um, cracking and winnowing, uh, kinakrack yung beans into smaller pieces and then pag ni-winnow, hinihiwalay yung nibs sa husks. So para hindi tapon yung husks, we just sift that further to remove yung mga smaller particles and that's what we sell as tea. So puro siya. Purong husk siya ng cacao beans. And um, very distinct yung flavor niya. A lot of people actually are pleasantly surprised by cacao tea. So at least hindi tapon yung husks. Kasi most of the time, um, yung iba, tinatapon na lang nila yung husks. And then we have uh, what we call Godel Creations. So maraming toppings, flavors. We experimented with it a lot. Actually, all of these were developed this year lang. Um, so yun, if you have a certain taste or a certain type of chocolate that you want try, we have those. And then we have instant chocolate like hot chocolate bombs, stir in hot chocolate. So lahat based yun sa table uh, recipe namin, not sweetened. And then we also have those gift boxes and bundles. So who we are, we are a very young brand. We just started last year, 2020, in the midst of the pandemic. So. Uh, we're a very young brand that values feedback because um, what we want is, um, of course, we've already developed our products, but we still want to develop it further. We, ha we want to develop them further. Um, cacao beans, may iba-iba yung flavor, like we said, and yung taste ng Pinoy sa chocolate, iba din. So we want to parang make them meet, uh, and we want to cater to the tastes of majority of the country's consumers and home bakers. Kasi syempre, sila yung bebentahan mo ng real chocolate. And whatever we learn from the consumers, yung mga binibigyan namin ng samples, ganyan, we wanna share this knowledge with chocolate makers in the country. And then, from there, mag align siya sa vision namin, which is one, the Godel products, yung chocolates namin, that we developed, we studied, we are indeed, magsusupport siya dun sa solutions, which are the machines that we sell. And then we want, we are willing to share everything we know about chocolate, like now, these types of uh, webinars, in para ma increase yung local consumption ng chocolate. Kasi um, compared sa Europe, we're not chocolate eaters. Uh, Filipinos aren't chocolate eaters. Malakas tayo sa rice, malakas tayo sa bread. Um, so, uh, as mga baked goods. Kaya, um, ang main magiging consumer mo is, aside from those who eat chocolate straight, Bakers uh, is another market kasi um, malakas tayo sa mga baked goods and breads. So if we incorporate real chocolate, Philippine-made chocolate into those um, products, then it will increase local consumption. That way, we empower local chocolate makers with a good quality solutions and yung know-how um, para kukuha rin sila sa Pilipinas ng beans. Hindi natin kailangan mag-export. Um, Oh, parang ganun. Imbis na ipadala siya sa ibang bansa and then wait for them to turn it into chocolate and send it back here at a very, very high price. Bebenta nila sa mga chocolate makers na taga-Pilipinas. And then, malakas din yung consumption ng chocolate sa Pilipinas. So, yun. In, the same, in that way, magbe-benefit yung buong cacao industry. Kasi sayang yung um, pag-push ng DOST na mag-plant ng cacao or cacao trees, cacao beans, if hindi natin siya mabilis ibenta within the country pa lang uh, yung kailangan pang hanapan ng uh, mabebentahan sa ibang bansa. E kalaban mo na yung mga South America, yung mga ganun. Marami ka ng kalaban doon. So there. Thank you. We can start with the Q&A. <laughs> Babalik na natin si Ma'am. Thank you, Miss Marie. Ay, thank you, Miss Rona. Okay, and Miss Marie. Uh, okay, members, you may write your questions in the chat for them to answer. Hi, Ms. Rona. Hello po, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, the first question is from Annette. Alberto, her question is, is black aqua powder Dutch processed or natural? Usually po, pag black po is Dutch processed. Okay. Dutch can processed you, can you again is alkalized. Uh, Okay. Yun nga, uh, for, for, for the, the home bakers to know. No? So, ano yung difference ng Dutch process 
water natural. So, si Dutch in alkalize lang, is that it? Yes po. So, si natural po is from the separation of the of the cacao, di ba po may cocoa mass? Is a separate natin siya into cocoa butter and cocoa mass, cocoa powder. So, si cocoa powder, pag kinuha mo na siya direct, that is natural cocoa powder. Alright. And then, okay. so what? Why they need to alkalize it? They need to alkalize it because the natural thing is, ano po? Medyo iba iba po yung flavor niya. Ah, for consistency. For consistency. Yung pag-alkalize. Tapos yung pH level then easier po to con to control po ng manufacturer since the pH level of alkalinization is may ah specific na po siya so hindi po siya mahirap i-produce. Kumbaga, consistent yung taste mo per batch. Okay. But for application, like for us home bakers, for application, if you use um, either the natural or the alkalized or the Dutch process, may difference ba sa outcome ng bakes? Sa taste po, it affects po. Kasi... Uh, sa taste lang. Taste lang naman. Sa taste po, lighter po yung lighter yung taste and color of the natural. For the okay. uh, alkalized Dutch. and yung black uh, or Dutch process na cocoa powder, it's used more po sa atin pong mga dark chocolate. So, most okay. of the manufacturers po or yung mga gumagawa ng cocoa powders, meron po yung numbers. So, if they are starting oh. from 100, si 100 po yung natural, then pataas ng pataas yung number, Pataas, taas, pataas din po ng pataas yung degree of alkalinization po. Okay. So, it affects okay, the next taste, question. tumatapang, and it affects the color. Okay, okay. Next question is from Miss Diane. Do you have any tips on how to store chocolate that come in big bags? Like, if we open the seal na, do we transfer or better to leave it in the bag that it came in? Depende po sa usage nyo po, ma'am. If you are gonna use, di ba po, bumili kayo ng big bag. If you're gonna use it like uh, like 500 grams, you should store it po ng ganon para hindi mo binubuksan ng binubuksan yung malaking bag. So, you should sort it po ng per usage. So, okay. Because I think most of us are most of us are buying minimum of 5 kilos yung mga big ones na mga covertures medyo nasa 3 to 5 kilos kasi yung isang bag minsan so I guess her question is do we store it in that bag and then do we need to put it in an airtight pa rin um, if you want po to store it po sa bag na yon, it's okay as long as you will seal it para po maiwasan po pumasok yung odors Okay, pero refrigerated pa rin. Do we refrigerate? Or kung naka-airtight na, like if you have naman those big lock and locks, we don't need to refrigerate it na. Uh, some of it are stable po sa ambient temperature, but if you mapansin nyo po na nagme-melt po siya sa ambient, you should store it po sa ref na lang po para mas safe. Okay, thank you. Okay, next question is from Miss Emmy Tan. Which among your product is best for chocolate cake? And where to buy it? Best for chocolate cake. So if you, yung, kung gusto nyo po yung profile po na may tamis na po, so the 50%, yun po yung i-recommend po namin. <laughs> Yan, si Mama Riki, taba, 50%. And if yung gusto niya naman po na more on the dark, dark profile po, 70%. Saan mabibili sa TBC during market day? Where to buy? <laughs> Where to buy ano? now? Chocolate.com <laughs> eh, Godelchocolate.com slash shop Okay. We will just post it later in the group. Opo. Or okay, sa... Ano po? Sa chat, um, sa chat box na lang. Ayan yeah. po. Chinat na po ni Mama Rita. Ayan. Okay, okay. Uh, next question is uh, 
Huh. Is it okay to just store your chocolates in a styro cooler at room temp? Yes po, yeah. pwede naman po siya. Ah, okay. So, okay din yan. Okay, next is, how do you safely... Or said, sorry, nag-move. Uh, how do you safely ship real chocolate bars via courier services to the provinces to prevent from melting or breaking during delivery? So, dito po sa Godel. <laughs> ah, sige. Um, actually, oh, Miss Marie, ikaw ka lang. Um, until now, medyo hindi pa kami ganun ka expert dyan. Um, what we did when we had our... Um, parang mystery package, we place them in insulated uh, envelopes. Yung mukhang foil mm. na envelope. Yes. Um, and as long as hindi siya more than five days siguro, uh, hindi naman siya yung sira. Uh, most of them um, slightly melted, pero hindi completely ruined. Um, pero for us, hindi pa rin kami uh, ipadala. So, if you'll notice, limited yung area. Kahit sila aura, actually, limited lang yung area na kaya nilang yung confidence sila magpadala. Ship Kasi out. nga, yeah. Yeah, that's why um, yung Lazada, we have a Lazada shop, we don't want to ship nationwide. Kasi, um, yun, we also tried it either to now na ng konti, um, or yeah. yung iba, totally hindi na siya ganun ka ganda tignan. Parang ganon. So, okay. uh, yun yung limitations from our end. Uh, but we're looking for a reseller sa provinces para next time um, mas pwede na siya uh, nationwide. Yung may, may mabibilhan yung mga tao and we want to ship it via air uh, para mga 3 to 5 days nandun na sa distributor yung product. Yeah. Okay. Next question is from uh, Miss Annette again. How do you make cocoa nibs? Nibs. Uh, nib. Our nibs is from the sorted, roasted, cracked cacao beans. So yung beans po natin ay dapat roasted at saka na crack po or na, and na separate from the husk o yung balat, then yun na po yung nibs po, ma'am. Okay. So, if you have raw na cacao beans, you can, you can try roasting it in your oven. And then, you just, lagay po sa bag, then pound po, uh, para mag-crack siya. And then, yung nasa loob po nun, yun na po yung nibs po, ma'am. Okay. Okay, next question is from our uh, admin host ng ating Zoom, si Ms. Mayan. She's asking if chocolates look grayish since it's in the ref, uh, is it still safe to, ano, is it uh, still safe though for consumption if expiry is next year? Yes po, it is. It is nag-gray na, nag-gray na daw. Uh, po. Safe to consume po siya kung makikita nyo na, po, na parang meron lang siyang mga specks of white or specks of reddish. As long as wala po siyang parang mold and bukbuk. Bukbuk, yung parang mga ano ng insect. Parang powderish ano po ng mga insect. Yun po yung hindi na okay. okay. But if just the color, it's still safe to consume po. Do we have to look at, let's say, kung let's say titik man, is there a distinct taste to know that it's spoiled already? Uh, ano like, po is it ma? like bitter? Is it makatisabibig? Uh, mga ganyan. Like, More on the rancid, a rancid po na. Apa. Okay, sige. Alright. Any other questions, ladies? Yung coverture pala, where does it fall? Kasi yun ang mga uso ngayon na sa mga home bakers, eh. coverture uh, pa Coverture yan. po Ganyan is eh. just... Parang social a, coverture. Uh, eh. uh, <laughs> uh, bali, yung coverture po na term is um, more, yun nga po, sabi nyo nga po, mas familiar kayo. Kasi sa baking industry po, yun po yung tawag dun sa, instead of calling it as chocolate, coverture po yung tinatawag po nila. So, meaning it real. Real yes, chocolate. Pag, pag sinabing, bin, let's say, binibenta kami, coverture to, 
we, we, we would assume that it's real chocolate. Pa rin, ano? Yes po. Parang okay. yun po yung katumbas ng real chocolate as, a, as baking po. Coverture po yung term. Okay. Okay. Questions pa, PBC? How do we pronounce your brand properly daw? Asking si Ms. Diane again. Ma'am, pronunciation. Godel? Godel? Pa paano daw i-pronounce, Ms. Marie? Godel. Godel. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very Pinoy. <laughs> Correct. Matigas, Godel. Oh, so, if, if, if there, pag may nagtatanong sa amin ano yung pwedeng coverture, actually, we usually suggest yung tablea 100% or sweet end namin. So, um, kasi yung 100%, walang sugar, unsweetened, ano siya, parang siyang unsweetened cacao. And then, this one is sweetened, 70% siya, so dark siya. Pareho sila ng so, timpla, parang ganun. Ng bar, ng bar. So, when we use that tableo unsweetened, when we use it for, or let's say, brownies or chocolate cake, we just temper it and then add sugar to have that sweetness? Uh, usually po, pag ingredient po siya sa baking, you don't need to temper po. Just melt and mix it sa, ano nyo po, sa mixture. Okay, so we don't need to like microwave it or i, i, uh, i melt, melt over. Uh, you need to melt po. Excuse me? Ah, uh, melt. So we melt it microwave lang. Okay, yan. Yes po. You just melt it and mix po sa ingredient po ninyo. And... If you are using po like real chocolate, then yung po talagang 100%, uh, konti lang po yung nilalagay niyo na ingredient. Kumbaga, mas makakatipid kayo kasi puro siya. Tapos yung lasa niya talagang intense po. And then, uh, how do you usually, is it like sweetened to taste na lang since it's yes. unsweetened? Okay. Next question is from Ms. Elaine. Correct but to assume that we can substitute coverture with the Bebel bar? I think that has been answered, no? Yes. To replace the coverture that we normally buy, you, you are suggesting the tablea unsweetened and tablea sweetened na 70% or those bars, yung chocolate bars. Yes, correct po. Parang Okay, next question is from Ms. Mayan. How do we temper dark chocolate and white chocolate? And what is the correct temperature for tempering? Um, so, Ma'am Margaret, uh, you need po to attend next week. <laughs> so, Ay, Chef Buddy, pala, pala. Chef Buddy will show you how to temper po and use it po sa mga big products. Ayan, Maya, next week pa daw ang tempering <laughs> lessons natin. So that's why if you attended today, you have a chance to learn again. <laughs> okay. Ano daw ang best chocolate for coffee? Best chocolate nyo to pair with coffee from Miss Charisma? Ay nga po, kanya-kanya ma'am eh. So if uh, you are yung puro, puro na as in a uh, black coffee, so... Maybe we can suggest po a little bit sweeter na chocolate bar, which is the 50%. Okay. Yeah, so 50% daw to pair with the coffee. From Giz David, anong pinagkaiba ng tablea and yung bar? May pinagkaiba daw ba? Ma'am, sa Goodell po more on the form. The, uh, the sweetened version is actually the 70% bar. So, yung 70% ba na bar and the 70% tablea na naka-can, do they have the same ingredients? Yes. Is it basically the same? Iba lang yung shape? Okay. Yes. So, yun lang hack daw yun. Know, may hack. Mas sulit to. Mas <laughs> sulit to compared <laughs> sa bar. Okay. Oo, oh, manipis ang bar. Packaging ang kakaiba. <laughs> Mas mahal. Uh, pa, parang okay. if you oh, want yan, may uh, bar kayo. type. If you want yeah, po bar type, uh, easy to, easy to yeah. uh, na putol-putolin, dun ka ma'am sa, sa bar. Pero if you will be consuming as 
a drink, yung ihalo mo po kasi easy to lagay lang po sa drink and melt eh, yung table yan. Yeah. Na, it's already uh, formed form. na inutulog yes, na lang. Pero it's okay. actually the same recipe po. So yung iba po actually same, ito same. na yung kinakain nila talaga. Pinapapak na nila to. <laughs> okay. Wow, interesting. Sige. Any other questions? TBC? So all the tempering questions will be for next week pa. So please do attend because I'm ating very famous chef for the stars. Right, Miss Marie? Si Chef Buddy is named Chef for the Stars. Oh, yeah. Chef pag wala, Buddy Trinidad. Yeah, pag wala na pong question, actually, ipa-flash ko yung ano, para may konting excitement. Papakita ko yung parang outline ni Chef for next week. Wow, okay. Sige, sige. Do, oh, yeah. If so, we, we don't have any more questions, we can... Ito yung last What's uh, that? One kilogram bar. <laughs> Wow, okay. So, so pwedeng pwede na yan for baking. Ano, ano, 50, so we also have this 50, 50 milk and 70. 100%, so 100 pwede rin by order siya. Ay, yan ang gusto ko. Hindi namin ina-advert. <laughs> Ayan. So may option na for the bigger ano. For, kasi marami sa amin ang online senders. <laughs> kasi malalaki. Yeah. Yeah, marami kasing online sellers sa amin, so they really prefer the bigger or the heavier, you know, packaging already. Kasi mamamigyan naman mong problema na i-repack yung 5 kilo bar mo kasi 1 kilo lang siya. Okay. Well, okay. Available daw ba sa site mo yung 1 kilogram? Hindi pa po. Hindi pa po. Message na lang kami sa Facebook if you want to order. Mas direct order okay. siya sa amin. Yeah. Ayaw namin i-advertise pa kasi by order siya. <laughs> okay. Alright. Any other questions? Uh, I saw Do you have question. cocoa powder? Yeah, we don't have that yet kasi that's another machine. Cocoa mask na ipipin. Machine. Yeah, that's another machine. <laughs> so, medyo malaking machine. Investment. Malaking investment siya. So, we don't have that yet. Okay. Yet. Sana. So, none yet. Sana. None yet. Push na natin kay Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Message si Sir Amy. <laughs> okay. What else? Any other questions? I think that's it. Uh, we don't have any other questions for this afternoon. Um, do you have any other announcements, Miss Marie? Where can they again purchase your products and, of course, promote your current booths in the mall or kung may mga bazaars kayo na sinasalihan? Um, I, I'm, I'm part of ano naman, the Baker Circle, so uh, the group. So yes. I'll just um, send any dates. Um, I'll show na lang our social media, pero flash ko muna yung for next week. Ni-share na ni Chef Buddy yung parang outline niya for next week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, again, uh, the time has been moved for next week uh, on November 13. So, he'll start with yung different uses of chocolate. And then, my discussion and demo siya of different types of tempering. And then, uh, he has a recipe for flourless chocolate cake. And then, he'll make a chocolate showpiece na Christmas theme daw. Uh, and then, uh, he'll also uh, show chocolate bars with dried fruits and nuts. So, um, most of these, he'll be using uh, Godel chocolate. Uh, so, but you can also ask him about application sa mga compound and yung mga... CBCP if you have any questions doon. Yan. So okay. hopefully, um, you'll make it to the second para lahat ng na-pick up nyo from today ma-bring nyo doon sa applications na. Kasi I think yun na yung yes. pinaka para sa inyo talaga. <laughs> yung um, yes, it's for your business, vision. for your ano, yun. Kaya we, we got a chef na lang para mas alam mo yun, wala nang tanong-tanong <laughs> yun na yun. Uh, and then, um, so, 
So we have a website and then we're active on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, sa YouTube, we show all the videos of how we make our chocolates. Uh, if you want to have a visual, parang, uh, a visual of how we, all the processes are done. And then, um, our Shopee and Lazada sites, uh, limited products lang yung uh, binibenta, but mostly kasi uh, yung mga small equipments and molds. We, we sell chocolate molds also. Uh, so, pag may na-pick up ka kay Chef Buddy next week, <laughs> baka gusto niya nang gumawa ng chocolates or explore yun. Uh, we have uh, those tools for that. And then, we recently launched nga yung Godel Chocolate para mas madali na mag-order from us. So, selected products and then limited area for delivery siya. There. Uh, and then, um, we still have a booth at SM Jazz Mall sa Makati until November 11. And then, um, we're also participating in uh, uh, Ateneo Celadon's Christmas Bazaar which is starting today until November 27. So, That's perfect. Um, Saan yun? Sa campus ng Ateneo? Ay, ano po siya? Online lang po siya. Ah, online. Online. So, it's for the benefit of their org. Meron silang uh, beneficiary. So, may proceeds from the sales um, na mapupunta doon uh, for their, I think, mga outreach nila. And then, uh, so, yun, if you want to support that cause, May mga maraming iba-ibang products silang binibenta, not just food. Uh, so that's from November 6 to 27. And then next week will be at Wofix sa SM Mega Mall, November 10 to 13. So uh, ah, yeah. this is parang okay. medyo comeback. Best Mac and Godel will be there. So, Best Mac is for the bakery uh, solutions, the bakery equipment. May mga mixer kami, mga planetary mixer, mga ganyan. Kung gusto nyo makita. And then, Godel will also be there. Uh, share kami ng booth, yung brands namin. And then, um, ano pa? Uh, sa November, meron pa kami. We have sa upcoming sa Green Belt. We have upcoming sa Evia. Um, and then, we're going back to Podium and Aura also. Yun. Yun yung mga naiisip ko ngayon. <laughs> Until mga early okay. December siya. <laughs> yeah. Perfect for the orders ng mga ating online bakers. Okay, we have a few more questions. I think, I don't know if you can still answer. Yung hot chocolate bombs daw ba is 70% or pure? Yes, the hot chocolate bomb, yung shell niya is 70% and then may marshmallow sa loob. So, dun yung most of yung tamis. Manggagaling sa yeah. marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cute. <laughs> well, okay. I think that's about it. Again, thank you very much to Godel Chocolate for, you. you know, teaching us how to determine kung compound ba, which is very essential, I think, for us home bakers. No, I think... From now on, everyone will be looking at their at their packaging. <laughs> ano ba? Good. Puro asukal ba to? Puro asukal lang, puro gatas lang, de ba? So now we know. So we know what we put in our bakes, de ba? Para then we know how to promote our our baked goods properly. Bakas na sabi natin chocolate cake, fake chocolate pala. So now we know. And uh, again, uh, I hope everyone can attend. Um, the lessons next weekend with Chef Buddy at 1 p.m. Everyone who, ent who entered Zoom this afternoon will be allowed entry on November 13. So, doon na yung application part of, of, the, of the lessons with Godel. So, I hope everyone can promote uh, Godel chocolates kasi masarap yung mga chocolates nila. Any other message? Thank you, Miss Rona, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, hey, Miss Rona. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for celebrating your day with us. Thank you, Ms. Ron, Ms. Yes. Marie. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for having us. From TBC, thank you.